welcome back. This video is about the axial fans that I use. So this is the current setup that I use for circulation. I'm using these two hurricane fans. And then I have one over by the humidifier as well. So I'm gonna go, go over the, 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 um, some pointers with these. One thing is you always wanna make sure they're either pointing sideways or down. And the reason for that is the, uh, the cup shape of the actual fan. And we'll go ahead and I'll show you a brand new one. So yeah, you wanna have them pointing down or sideways. And if you don't do that, what happens is the water will build up inside of the actual fan housing. And then you're gonna have issues with it frying out. So here's a new one. And you can see how th this is what I'm referring to is this cup right here. It has an opening over there. And if water gets in there, it'll go into the motor. So you wanna make sure that it's pointing this way or that way. And these are nice because you can clean them easily. I use a bottle brush from home brewing. So I'll clean out inside of here. And that happens about every week or two, especially if I let a harvest go a little bit overboard. Another thing you wanna make sure you do because this connection is not sealed, this is the power cord. Um, you wanna, it goes onto these prongs right here. You wanna take a little bit of RTV and RTV is just silicone sealant. Um, you can get it at um, uh, uh, auto shop. You can also just use some bathroom caulk, similar stuff. And just put a little bit of RTV on that little section right there. And this will stop you from one, electrocuting yourself and two, uh, it'll stop you from shorting out and hitting a GFI. Okay, so then it just oozes out like that. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try another light. It just oozes out in there. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. yeah. And you just leave it like that. You don't have to wipe it. And from here, you just let it cure overnight and then it can go into the, the fruiting room. So the, the one reason why I went from uh, using the IF4 fans with the ducting to, to distribute the air to these is because these are a lot easier to clean and they also spread out the air in a nice cone, whereas the IF fans blow more in a straight line. The IF fans, you really gotta break apart to clean out. Now, I still do use the IF fans. I use one on my exhaust, I'll show you it right now. So there's my exhaust with an IF4 and it just has a simple screen over the, a mesh screen over the top to stop. Uh, mushrooms or just junk from falling in there and getting eaten up by the fan and actually it'll probably eat the fan up if anything if I drop like a, a knife down in there and uh, that's pointed downwards and the, the idea of that is I can hose it down um, whenever I need to if there's spores in there and it can take all that water and then I have a clean out down here that I open up and all the nasty water can run out. I typically do that when I do the whole cleanup of the grow, which is actually overdue today. I need to do that today or tomorrow. And uh, the reason why I don't use these anymore for circulation is that housing is very hard to clean out. You have to take it apart. And for exhaust, it's not a big deal because it's just put up, putting all the air outside. But um, for, for circulating inside of the fruiting room, you don't want to have a fan that's very difficult to clean. These push a lot more pressure, so they're better than the, the, the Hurricane fans when it comes to actually moving, uh, to moving air around. So uh, if you want to move air through piping, you're going to want to use an IF4 or IF6, or I think they have an 8 as well, uh, or even a 10 or 12. And then if you're just moving air around uh, inside the fruiting room with no resistance, just use an inline fan. And these last pretty long, if they're, especially if they're kept high and away from your humidifier. The one by my humidifier fried out after six months. So uh, expect you know, a service life of these. They're not gonna last very long, uh, but that's just about anything in the fruiting room lasts like six months to a year and you're either cleaning it out and replacing it or cleaning it out or replacing it. So at least in my experience. Uh, the, the fruiting room is not a good environment for any kind of electronic devices, your sensors, controllers, all that. Um, you really want to minimize what is inside and also you want to minimize the connection. So you don't want to have an outlet plug inside your fruiting room. You'd have to have a, a hole to where it runs out and then it'll plug in outside your fruiting room. So hopefully you like that video. If you want to get uh, a link for these, you can see below. Uh, click there on my kit.com website and you can help support my channel by purchasing it using my kit affiliate websites uh, links. And uh, hopefully this helped you out and stopped you from electrocuting yourself and uh, 
prolong the life of the, the fan. Have a good one. Keep on mushrooming. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my other videos on mushroom cultivation and backyard farming. And take it easy.